What's up guys? So today, as you can see, it's a huge day for nerdum. It's a huge day for film. It's a huge day for movies. Uh, but the bigger thing is, today is a cultural event. Like today isn't just the premiere of Avengers Endgame. Today is a cultural event that's gonna go down in the history books that people are gonna be talking about and I'm so excited about it. Now, if this is the first time we're meeting, I live in Las Vegas. Today we're here in uh, Miami, Florida, but something that I wanted to share with everyone that if you don't know me is I love film, I love watching movies, I love what movies do and all that stuff. And I love it so much that uh, me and my friends, uh, Mr. Kent Wong and Chasing Cinema, we rent out a movie theater in Las Vegas every Thursday, 52 weeks out of the year, just to watch a movie with our friends and clients and people that we work with. And we put it on a big event that people can, you know, come to and enjoy and watch whatever movie that is. And so I've been doing this since 2009, 52 weeks out of the year. Now, obviously today we're here to talk about Avengers Endgame. So when Iron Man came out in 2008, that was the only movie that I didn't have a private theater to. Every other of the 22 Marvel films, I have had a private movie theater for that movie. I love the MCU. I love the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm one of the nerds. I can admit it, whatever. And so other than Iron Man 1, I've had a private theater for every Marvel film since then. All other than Iron Man, all 21 other films. You know, I've had a little over 63,000 people in Las Vegas watch a movie with me. And I just love it. It's so much fun. And unfortunately, my fiance got really, really ill, and she has a she has something called BII, breast implant illness, which I think I'm probably going to be making a video on that at a later time, and I'll tell you guys a little bit about that. But um, so she got really, really ill, and she needed surgery. So we went to the best doctor that we could find, and that was here in uh, Miami, Florida. And so she told me she's like. Ming, that's my middle name. She's like, hey, I got a doctor. Great. And she's like, we're gonna be going to Miami. Great. We probably have a place we can stay uh, with our buddy and my mentor. And I was like, when is it? And she says, like I already knew when Endgame came out, but she says the week that we're going was Endgame week. When she said that, I don't even know if I can truly explain to you. I, I, I genuinely, I got sad. Now, obviously, your fiance, you're not going to tell her or him, whoever. No, <laughs> we have to watch a movie. And so, obviously, you know, I said, that's cool. You know, we'll, we'll go to Miami during Endgame week. And I can tell you, today's Endgame day, by the way, when I'm recording this. I was so sad. I'm sad right now. You know, we made these custom tickets just for Endgame for all of our friends. You know, we have, you know, some odd, you know, 200 some odd friends meeting me at the theater tonight. We're gonna, everyone's gonna have a lot of fun. And I ain't gonna be there. But my boy Chasing, my boy Kent Wong, they're gonna throw down and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I just wish that I could be a part of it. So I'm gonna be doing two videos. Now, y'all know. I'm not missing this movie. I, I may not be at my premiere. I may not be in a, a private theater. I may have to watch it with regular people and normal common folk and people I don't know. You know, I'm just kidding. By the way, we have a joke that says, wait a minute, you have to watch a movie in a theater with people you don't know? You have to watch a movie with public? <laughs> anyway, so y'all know, hey, I may not be in Las Vegas, but I'm not missing this movie. So I'm watching the movie tonight in... Miami, I'm, I think. I don't know where I'm watching this movie, but I'm, I got a ticket at an AMC. We're going to drive there. I'm still going to watch it. It's going to be a full theater, I'm sure, but it's not going to be our private theater. But I got my boys. They're going to be filming all the B-roll of what they're doing. So here it is. This is what Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame looked like in Las Vegas. Hello everyone and thank you for joining us here at AMC Town Square for what could be the biggest movie opening of all time. The biggest 10 years anticipating Marvel's Avengers Endgame. Theaters are starting to fill up. The energy here is unlike anything I've ever experienced. It is a night to remember. Check out all the great things that happen here tonight.
at Endgame. And guys, just like the snap of my fingers, <laughs> Avengers Endgame has come and gone. Uh, one of the craziest and fun nights I've ever had at this theater. Uh, I just wanna thank everyone who came out to our event. Appreciate your patience, your understanding. We, I mean, we knew it was gonna be hectic. We had no idea just how hectic, but everyone got together, sat with each other, and laughed and cried and enjoy what is Avengers Endgame. Uh, it was such an incredible experience. I feel so exhausted just because of going through the range of emotions and just seeing all of our friends and everything like that, uh, it was such a blast. We wanna thank everybody who helped make this happen. Uh, guys, we are here every Thursday. Yes, it's not always Avengers Endgame, but there's always great movies and there's always good people. So if you wanna join us next week, we have the new Seth Rogen movie, Long Shot, to check out. Um, and we have Aladdin coming right around the corner. So make sure to check out Shu's Instagram, because as you can tell, he's not here, but that's all right, because we all got to enjoy this movie together, no matter where we are in the world. Uh, make Sure to follow Shu, shoemjames.com on Instagram or shoemjames on Instagram, shoemjames.com for more information. Always follow me at chasingcinema.com for all of our reviews that we do every week. And always join us here at AMC Town Square at 10 o'clock on Thursdays for private premiere screenings with your good friends. Uh, again, this was a blast. And uh, after waiting 10 years, Endgame was exactly what I think everyone wanted it to be. It brought everyone from all different walks of life together to just enjoy a movie and have a blast. So thank you guys again, and please remember, ChasingCinema.com is the film lover's website.